We're here hanging out at P Picnic Island. Beautiful Sunday fun day. There's actually not a lot of people here, but it's a glorious day after two days of rain. But we're gonna get out, walk around, take some pictures and just hang out. It's a really cool spot to check out right here in Big Pine Key. This is just one of the amazing sandbars we're going to show you today. All right, guys, we're at a bridge here in Big Pine Key. A big storm just went past yesterday. So we don't really know what's going on in here, so doing a little bit of exploring. The water quality is terrible because of about inches of rain. We went offshore, it was really bad. So we so came in. we're exploring in. and we're literally taking you guys along with us and you're just gonna have to see. We usually start our videos with the first fish, but you're gonna start from the very beginning. Yeah, and then you guys miss all the great stuff that happens beforehand. And so you're gonna see our process for finding these fish and finding all the different spots here in Big Pine Key. So we were just passing through and we saw there was some current at this bridge, so we're really gonna focus on tarpon fishing a little later. Just decided to throw out some chum and see how we do with the pinfish we caught and a pinfish trap we got from Cujo Sales. Dropping the knowledge bombs already. And Darcy doesn't feel that good. I don't get to catch too many of these guys, but that is a beautiful, gorgeous, juvenile black grouper. One of the best eating fish in the sea. He's so pretty. Circle hook right in the corner. Literally just free line my bait back. Look how gorgeous that fish is. And look at how he's lighting up and changing. And he's getting lighter and darker, but let's get him back and get him wet. Let him grow big. See you, little buddy. Whoa. <laughs> that fish was ready to go. All right, guys, with us, we've got gas, bait, and food. That's what you do in the afternoons when it's hot. Yep, spend your money on those things. <laughs> now we're going for a second trip. Try and catch a what? A tarpon. All right. The Silver King. And I'm wearing these pants, by the way, because of the bugs. The bugs. little no see them. bugs. They love me. They love everybody. It's terrible down here. Are you ready? Yeah. Josh doesn't feel good. I don't know. I and I've just been with Brian in the house. But and I, God knows what diseases I have. Anyhow, yeah, I don't feel good. Sorry, battery died. But uh, all right, so you got to listen to my fat mouth yeah. a little more maybe today. So tell them. So, so anyway, so we're dead baiting for tarpon. We're Correct. We're trying to track tarpon with dead bait because they're like scavengers and they eat anything. Yeah. You know, it's it's hard to catch to catch a tarpon with like a fly rod, but like we're doing it is kind of cheating. Yes. So we have been collecting carcasses over the past few weeks from, you know, from fishing trips and big I, I, I made fun of her the entire time, like for the last two months, but now we got here and she has these buckets. Yeah. Filled with chopped up already carcass. Throw a piece out. Like that's not a big chopped up piece, but. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> okay, so you can see I'm I dealing with like a little myself. teeny baby. Like if I, I had like a, a high school cheerleader on the boat from uh, middle myself. school, she'd be crying. Uh, it's, uh, that's Here. very sexist, I'm sorry. Here, it's a piece. There's a very small piece, throw it out. Anyway, so it's full of pieces, and so we're dead baiting, attracting fish to us, and you have to sight fish for them to determine, distinguish them from nurse sharks. Cause you're just gonna catch nurse sharks if you leave your bait out there. So yes. hopefully you need the visibility, and they're gonna come up, and we're gonna catch them, and we're using uh, 50 pound leader and 80 circle hooks from VMC. So now it's just gonna be a waiting game and see how fast they decide to show up in our chum slick or if they decide to come at all. Yeah. But now you know how to do it in case we strike out. Yes. There you go. Perfect. Oh my god, you're so nice. And Perfect. So gracious. Woo! Biggest fan! I'm coming over! Oh, she's coming over! Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm coming over! Alright. Okay, get in right, the middle. Get in the middle. No, you get in the middle. I'm getting in the middle. You get in the middle. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm bringing another video. Oh, is this a YouTube so video? What is this? Oh my god, you guys are awesome. <laughs> oh, my All right, god. now you got it. Awesome. You made my day. Good, good. You're fine. Oh my god. It's totally fine. There you go. Thank you Thank so you. much. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank oh, you for love everything. It. We, love it. we appreciate it's okay. it. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. You have a great night. No it's problem. All good. Watch the anchor, but you'll be fine. Yeah, the anchor line right there. Yeah. Have a good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys, a nice folks visit us. You know, just 
just say hello when you see us, it's fine. We'd be happy to say, you know, we're happy to engage or say hello too, you know. Just don't go behind the boat when we're fishing. Go in front. <laughs> Hooked up? Yeah, definitely. Nice. What you got, what you got, what you got? Ooh, I'm wrapped around you. Oh, you were on the tarpon. Oh. All right, had a little tarpon on. Welcome back, guys. Woo. I hooked up too. Fish is hooked up. I don't know. I like literally was reeling up my line because I was wrapped around yours when the tarpon jumped. So we didn't catch a tarpon last night. No. Jack of all. Whole bunch of them. Gee, there That's he a is. Bigger one, nice. Yeah, it is a bigger one. Fresh tarpon bait right there. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah, so we came out to this bridge, waiting for the tide a little bit, and I just hooked like a, a small tarpon. I only had a 2-0 hook. I wasn't really expecting to catch a tarpon, but that it was, was awesome. really cool. Yeah, really sick. Nervous. Get an eight. On. Let's go sizzle. Ugh. Got it out of the rocks. We are hooked up. That took get a good hour to get the bike today. We really were just waiting for that current to switch. Getting louder than All about current. We got a nice mangrove on. Let me see. Now I'm gonna use reuse that bait. <laughs> You're gonna reuse the bait. Heck yeah. Yeah. Nice fish, Sizzle. That's a nice fish. Start the day. Not complaining. That's a nice 20 incher right there, yeah. probably. Woo! 18, 17. <laughs> Still a nice fish. Tiny little hook. Let me pop that out real quick. All right, guys, check it out. That's a really nice bridge snapper. Of course, there's bigger ones that lurk here too, but these guys are so smart. It takes them forever to eat a bait and they're just super cautious. If they feel any type of tension, anything on the line, they're gonna let it go. So put in, you gotta catch up. Let's get him in the cooler, get him iced down, and I gotta get right back to fishing because the current's picking up and it's only gonna get better. Let me yeah. see him. Woo. Big Jack ate a big pink fish we had off the tarpon. Bait caster. What you got, nurse? No, oh, another mangrove. Oh, it's a nice mang. Nice mang, babe. Good job. Oh, that's a stud. That's the biggest one so far. Yeah, good job. All right, let me get line out. No, no. Stop screwing we're around. We're done. We're done fishing. Stop screwing around. That's not a cabara so big? No, it's not. <laughs> you can tell the difference. I know, I'm just teasing. We'll get hopefully catch one and we'll show the difference. That is a good dinner size. That's a nice fish. Come on, go fish, please. I got that. I, I'm right here on it, so I'm oh. just gonna do it, babe. Please. It's all right. She's like, these women these days, this, girl, this younger generation has no concern of priorities. She catches a thousand times more fish, and so I usually take care of the scrap, but she's wasting time with stupid fish. I'm gonna show off your pretty fish. Chill out. Go catch a fish. We That's need you to nice catch one. a big fish. That is a nice one. That's, That's a good dinner. Stuff. That's a dinner for one person. Nice and, fish. Good and job. I, I know people like always, you know, you poo poo mangroves and and you know and stuff, but they're literally one of the best eating fish in the whole in the whole ocean. So it's like. Catch them up. Yeah, and what we're showing you guys today is just a great to do with the family. When you come to the Keys and it's crazy windy all the time, come to the bridge, any bridge, 20 pound test, and just some 2-0 circle hooks. Chum. We're gonna get these, we're gonna get these guys in the video. There you go. Gnu life. You know, Darcy grew up fishing on a gnu. Yes. Just like this one in my back, in our backyard right now. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. There you go, guys. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Good job. Oh, the, the guy with the wake with the came wake. right at the same time. A couple wakes. It's okay if it bangs. You can hit this boy's 20 years old. It's just yeah. okay. He's got a rub rail. We were watching your video when you went to the bridge before. And like, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. Woo! Selfie. Sun's coming from the other direction. Take it from the other direction. You know, go ahead. Spin <laughs> it around. Spin this way. Spin it around. There you go. Now you Perfect. got the sun. There you go. You want me to take one? I can take one. Yeah. yeah. Take this off. Oh, that doesn't matter. This thing looks so dorky. You are a massive <laughs> dork. Now this is looking at me. Hold on, let me turn around. Nice. There we go. One, two, three. I'll take another one. Three. Perfect. All right, awesome. You. You're so guys. welcome. Whoa. Thanks. You, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, I really appreciate Show it. Show you the hats. Brian? What, baby? Show you the land shark hats. Yeah, I don't think they drink beer yet, but give them a land shark hat. You guys want a land shark hat? Yeah, All watch right. out. All right, not a lot of people have these. Not a lot of people have these. You the just fish with our sizzle wearing, land shark logger visors. Both get one. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. All right, guys. Yeah, really just get that out of your way. Thank you, thank you. Watch our lines back there. Watch the straight. Come forward, come forward. Yeah, we're good. You're good. All right, guys, catch them up.
You're welcome. Have a good day, guys. Hope you catch them up. All right, we got some future land shark laggers. Land sharkers. That's our sizzle inspiring the youth of tomorrow. Shut up. <laughs> Cover that thing up, what are you doing? All right, I, I can't fish. Why? Because people, because we're talking to people all day long. I was literally gonna put a bait back now, Brian's gonna get mad that I'm putting it back 10 minutes later. Yeah, I know it's like, uh, no, I mean, God, I mean, God, God bless oh, everybody and God bless our good fortune. But it's like, it's to the point where like, we literally can't even fish. Like, <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> like if we park anywhere, like along anywhere people are, it's like, it's say Monday morning, it's not too bad. But like yesterday on Sunday, it was, it was. Thank you. Thank you. You, could, you literally could barely fish. It was great. It's great. We got to go hide more. Thank you. We did it. We did it. We made the contents in our big boat. We did it. We did it. To the flats. Look at this. It's gorgeous out here. Coming here in 10 years, we never made it here. Never. The sandbar. I feel retarded now. Now I feel retarded. Oh well. No, retarded's a bad word. I feel we'll unsmart. Yeah. Crazy. Yes. All right, now it's time to try and catch a bonefish. Doing the Guggen method. That is, we're gonna park on a sand spot, throw out some shrimp as bait or as chum. Not a chum block that's gonna attract too many sharks. A little shrimp and a little jigs. A little overcast for this is sight fishing. A little overcast, a little rough, bumpy seas. And my boat is very loud. It's too big, <laughs> too big for this. By loud, I mean, when the waves hit the side, it makes a huge noise. That's like a design flaw. Yeah, you're scaring every fish. For a real flats boat. It's, for, if you're a flats guy, it's, <laughs> it's like a boom box. All right, we got a fish on. It might be a bonnet head. Let's look. Ready? Yeah, we're ready. I honestly didn't even see any fish, and I was just like breaking up little pieces of shrimp back here and throwing it. We're going to find out, though. Light drag. See the fish. Doesn't look like a bonefish. Ooh, screaming like a bonefish. Kinda but it is actually. I don't know what we're gonna see in a minute. Pretty light drag, so I'm just gonna take my time here. Yeah. I'm looking for the S word. Don't wanna say it or jinx it, but they're out here on the flats too. And there's big porpoises out here as well. Porpoises that eat bonefish, all kinds of predators in the flats, believe it or not. What do we got? Follow your fish, follow your fish. What do we got? What that is? My anchor. It's a shark. It's a bonnet head. That's okay. They are definitely a bycatch when you are bone fishing. They don't have very big teeth. They don't harm humans. It's about as big as they get. I'll grab get a them. tail if you want. I think that's a bad idea. Okay. I don't want to put them in the net. Okay. Sure, we'll catch. Do I? Don't know how you're going to get the tail, but try it. Try it. Hold on. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Woo. Good job. He just wrangled that shark. <laughs> he almost like whipped around and got you that first he time. He almost did. I saw that. I was like, oh no. All right. That is a big bonnet. Big bonnet. Let's get big rid of him. Big shark. Big shark. We got to get rid of him because he's scaring, the, he's scaring all the... It's making so much noise, it's scaring every bonefish in town. But this means that our chum, shrimp chum, is working. And she's had that left, she just had that out there. What you want to do is side fish for the bonefish. Um, Cause then you don't get his bycatch, but we were just waiting for him to come up. So let's get him out of here. All right, relax. We're letting you go, I promise. You just grab them really tightly right here, up at the top to control their face. But they have very small teeth. And that jig got them, oh, just broke. Jay got him right in the corner. Nope, nope, nope. Lost grip. <laughs> He's biting everything in sight. I'm trying to bite it. Grab that fish. Relax, buddy. There we go. There he is. Good with teeth. Not that bad. No, very small teeth. Yeah. That's a really big bonnet head. Very yeah. similar to a shark, a hammerhead, except he has more of a shovel nose shape to the face there. Well, he's in the hammerhead family. Yes, he's but just... I'm just showing you, they're also called shovel heads because of the way the head is shaped. Yeah, all right. All right, let's let him go. All right. Whoa, bad place for my pliers. Woo, and there he goes. Very hardy fish right there. All right, guys, we're back. Our trip our trip to the Keys is over. And uh, we, you know, the footage, I want to get that footage to you guys about these sandbars, because they're really awesome. 
And I also wanted to get those fan encounters in there because you know those folks are so nice to stop by and say hello. Yes. That we had those clips, and I just wanted to get them out there in public for you guys to see them. And again with the sandbar. So uh, we're back, we're back to fishing. If I had seen some other videos, we're going to Darcy's uncle's camp. Cousin. Our cousin camp <laughs> at ease in Georgia over the weekend. Yeah. So you're gonna see all that kind of stuff, and uh, that's really it. Yeah. So you guys stay tuned. We got a lot of different and awesome content heading your way. Until then, follow your dream. Keep, and keep on, on catching. catching. Dangerous with a knife, I know. <laughs> it looks very, crazy with the left. I'm very dangerous. Very dangerous.